the video I'm making because it's come to my attention that people are spreading false information in the uh, rip main space and as you know I'm not I'm no fated to coin out the shit that we've got here online and I like to promote the best fucking tools I like to fucking tell you guys the best methods I don't like to give anyone cocky shit so check it out I'm going to show you guys um, the truth about line clamps and uh, what you guys need to know. So yeah, check it out. So we're back today. Um, so first off this video yesterday because we got a few tools nicked. So basically, I bought some drag clamps and I've got my Fitz Briggs. I bought some new ones for this video. Top and bottom of it, they're not very good. Come here, Dean. Have a look at this. This is why, you know, you aren't going to listen to everything you see on YouTube. Second of all, a fixed brick. You can move this freely and easily wherever you want. So, I'll just for demonstration purposes, I can easily put that on, ready to go with no effort. Whereas, I'm going to try to do the same thing now with this. Bear in mind, this is green. It's not wobbly, but you don't get the same effect. No. We'll try to do the same thing here. Bear in mind, me holding this, I've been going to the gym for 10 years. I was, at one point in my life, one of the strongest deadlifters in the under 23 category, drug free. I've got a strong grip. I'm not your average bricklayer. So, film this team. I am filming it, <laughs> I've got the iron grip on this, and it's and it's and it's hard to do. I'm checking here. Hold on. Trying to wrap this around this wheel. It's fiddly. I've almost moved the button. It's not ergonomic. So you can see them still being quite on camera. Sit, zoom in on the fixed grip. You know, get get a nice picture. This isn't this isn't my newest one, but these are pretty much brand new. The material straight away. This is a mild steel with powder coating on, Chinese med. Whereas the stainless steel is lighter, easier to use, and is also made in Britain, made and manufactured from British stainless steel. You know, supporting the industry in this country you know would you rather support the Chinese brand you know well it's not meant to be American but they'll be made in China or stainless steel won't rust easy to use look at that little bit of uh, squeezing from myself you know you might get used to using this I'm not saying the jag clamp won't work but it's just not as good as this nowhere near show you something else as well so, to fit your body. come back to the original point. I've heard arguments made that you don't have to move the block off the lat, off the... that. Right, I'm going to be real with you right now. When you've used fixed bricks and you try to use this, it's fiddly as fuck. It's fiddly as fuck, right? So, I've already now got the line trapped incorrectly on the block. You can see what I'm doing, can't you, Dean? <laughs> right. <laughs> it, it just feels unintuitive. Now, the argument is that you can't tighten your line with the fixed brick on the wall. You can. There's nothing to stop you doing so. There you go. I think that's a lot easier. Move it backwards and forwards, move it as much as you want. Little bits of adjustment here and there. Or do you want to try fucking. fucking. iron gripping it every time when you send an arm workout? You don't want to do it. No point. Trapping your line potentially. It's so less easy. It's just harder. It's an harder piece of kit to deal with. Yeah, it's, it feels stiff, it feels heavy, it feels clunky, but. It's not as good why I carry around extra weight. These won't work on facial and soffits. These 
fucking car battery clips, I'll get it way. You know, all this is here is a bit of mild steel tack riveted onto a fucking car battery clamp. It's got a bit of a stiffer spring in, a bit of stiffer spring, but it's a cheap bit of construction. This fits brick, you know, the argument is it won't come off. The fits brick won't come off. But if you really want to, you can reinforce, come here Dean, get a, get a closer to this, you can reinforce the fits brick with the other side. I don't recommend using it like this, but that reinforces that if you really want to, but you should, it'll never come off anyway unless you're pulling the line too tight. But that is another way you can reinforce the clamp and pull both of them together. There's so many applications as well. Can you get moved back, Dean? Sorry, mate. Right. A fixed brick versus a jag clamp has three capabilities to two. An 100mm block, say I'm using the same tension with two fingers, you know, the stiffer bits of kit, this is stiff. Two applications, 100mm blocks or 140. These were designed for American bits of gear, not English. These, on the other hand, have applications for all types of gear. English, American, whatever type of gear you want to hook this onto, it can work. But, it has three main applications, 100mm, 140, 225 brick on edge. If you come here as well, Dean, let me show you this. I don't believe this. These nubs here, in the back of the clamp, these little nodules, they're for your line to run at both sides of a brick on edge. And they form as support and gripping. Also the teeth, these teeth will, you can use this as an intermediate tingle wherever you want, these teeth will grip the gear, grip the piece of masonry. Now, I feel like I don't have to go on, but I will. <laughs> you try having the iron grip and steady hand to put this on a piece of freshly laid brick, freshly laid block, you just haven't got the precision you have with the fixed brick. You know, there's people out there trying to say that these are no good, but in the harsh reality are, they're the best out there, and that's the only thing I support. But, I've got to be fair, I've got to use both types of kit. At the end of the day, they do work, but they're not as good as these. Nowhere close. Take, these will take more. These will take more space in your box. They might feel heavier, and might feel clunkier. But what do you want? You want a light box, stainless steel, strong construction, you, you're designed in a way to adhere themselves to the, the masonry. They're not meant to pull off. They won't pull off unless you're being stupid. You know? If you want to pull your corner over, not be able to use these on facial and soffit barred boards, gables, you know, at the end of the day, you know, don't let fake fake people, fake bricklayers on the, on the internet convince you away from what the whole bricklaying world and industry are using. They're using fixed bricks. You don't see anyone using these for a reason. This is just not, not as good. So yeah. Hope that settles the argument. Hope that settles all the fake shit that you hear out there now. You know, people, snake oil salesmen out there want to try and say that <laughs> they have been a kit that's quite frankly dump and they probably use these anyway is better than the one and only fixed brick penny clamp.